What's going on guys? I'm back for a second video on my road to recovery. So I'm going to go through the exercises that I do at the start of my session in order to warm up my pec of what's left of it. Um, so I'm currently seven days out from my surgery, so it's next Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Um, I had my pre-op testing yesterday. They took some blood, still all that kind of bollocks. It wasn't. It was alright. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of blood testing because it's a bit disgusting, but you know, I got through it. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a COVID test on Sunday. If that comes back positive, I can't have surgery. So let's hope it's negative. And yeah, that's basically the update. And I'm guessing next week's video will be at the end of the week when I'm in a sling and I won't be training. I'll probably have a client with me or something like that. But yeah, that'll be good. So I'm gonna be training arms today. And you guys are gonna see how I managed to train arms around a pec tear. It's quite interesting, but at the same time, it's not what you think. It's, it's pretty relatively the same, but I can't do a few things. That overhead stuff, I can't really do. But yeah, let's get to the session. Gotta do my warm up now, and then we'll go upstairs and start training arms. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna do is a single arm preacher curl. And what's good about the preacher curl is it isolates the bicep completely, so it takes all the tension off my chest. Obviously, it's this side. And what I need to make sure I'm doing is got my four 100% on point. So this part of the pad needs to be in my armpit. All my weight needs to be put on that. And then the only thing that's working throughout the movement is my bicep. And I'll keep my hand here to check that my chest isn't twitching, because if it is, that means there's pressure on it. And there's tension going through the tendon that's left, which is not what we want, because there's only part of the pec actually still attached. If I put too much through it, that's gonna come off as well. So I can't really, use any secondary muscles until that's reattached unfortunately which will be for I'd say like five or six months so <laughs> right now it's just focusing on form completely making sure isolating the bicep um, feeling the burn getting a good pump and just doing that on every exercise I have yeah I started on a 50 mil lens now I'm about to bag 50 mil yen I can shoot all day I got stamina turtleneck on with my camera yeah stay creamy man that's what they say shoes laced up and i came to play yeah i'm first team i'm a superstar they call me cream like a good jabbar yeah you have to face it let's get back to basics i'ma take the shot like it's a vaccination i don't have the patience i'ma shoot right now yeah we undefeated you gonna lose right now like click 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 swish i can switch it up anytime like this i'm a videographer and i'm on the verse so when i shoot my shot i don't you miss gonna take the shot Take the shot, take the shot. You know I'm gonna take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. Pull up and take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. You know I'm gonna take the shot, take the shot. We're gonna do cable um, rope pull downs, so try some extensions. Like I said before, making sure there's no tension going through my pecs, so keeping my elbows by my side, make sure I'm pushing down and isolating the tricep, because if I use any secondary muscle, it's going to be the upper pec and it's not going to be nice if I do that, so. I need my camera, madam. Shoot my shot like a man saletta. I develop film, not feelings. Ooh, I develop film, not feelings. Ooh, I develop film, not feelings. Ooh, I develop film, not feelings. one was good and if you're wondering why I'm doing like a hammer curl then a regular curl on the way down because if you're doing regular curls it puts stress on your pet whereas if you have a hammer curl because your hand is turned inwards it takes a lot of stress off it and isolates the bicep more but then the reason I turn my hands out is because the bicep stays shorter which means it has a longer range of motion to like um, in the eccentric phase to toe like to get longer which is when the most muscles are broken down so doing curls with your hands like that is a lot more beneficial than doing hammer curls but just for my sake I have to do a hammer curl up and then a regular curl down.
your last two reps aren't hard, you need to lift heavier. That's my easy piece of advice for today. <laughs> so we just finished up my arm session with the pec tear, obviously. Hopefully next week I'm able to come to you guys and say my pec isn't torn anymore, except I'll be pretty incapable to do anything. I won't even be able to drive. I've got, actually, I've got to isolate for seven days, apparently. Um, I don't know why, because apparently I, I could get COVID while I'm in the hospital, so I have to isolate, but something like that. But yeah, so arms was good. Um, tomorrow I've got legs, which will be good again. And then the um, day after that, I'm supposed to isolate until my operation, obviously for COVID reasons again. But I hope you guys learned something during that, especially with the preacher curls. I made sure I went over that in detail. People reach out saying that they've just had their surgery or they're going to have their surgery and things like that, which is good because it means I'm finding an audience which matches me, which is amazing. Um, so yeah. That's been the video. Look forward to the next one, which will be the third one of my road to recovery. Will I actually be in recovery then? I'll try and get some um, rehab uh, filmed with the physio, which will be nice, obviously, next week, maybe the week after, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So that's been the session. That's been the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow my socials on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Pretty obvious, that one. But yeah, if you want to get trained by me, trained by Tommy, I, um, I've got I think I've got four spaces still open on my coaching. All you have to do is go over to the link in my bio or the link tree link in the description, which will take you to a bunch of links where you can do a coaching application or you can book a call with me directly one-to-one -one where we can discuss your goals and things like that. But yeah, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.